Lord, we pray that your grace may always proceed and follow us, that we may continually be given to good works. Dear Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is from Amos. Seek the Lord, that you may live, or he will break forth like a fire, O house of Joseph, and it will consume with none to quench it for Bethel. For those who turn justice into wormwood and cast righteousness down to the earth, he who made the Pleiades and Orion and changes deep darkness into morning, who also darkens day into night, who calls for the water of the, of the sea and pours them out on the surface of the earth. The Lord is his name. It is he who flashes forth with destruction upon the strong, so that destruction comes upon the fortress. They hate him who reproves in the gate, and they bore him who speaks with integrity. Therefore, because you impose heavy rent on the poor and exact a tribute of grain from them, though you have built houses of well-hewn stone, yet you will not live in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards, yet you will not drink their wine. For I know your transgressions are many and your sins are great. You who distress the righteous and accept bribes and turn aside the poor in the gate, therefore at such a time... The prudent person keeps silent, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. And thus may the Lord God of hosts be with you, just as you have said. Hate evil, love good, and establish justice in the gate. Perhaps the Lord God of hosts may be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. This morning is from Psalm 90. So teach us to number our days, that we may present to you a heart of wisdom. Do return, O Lord, how long will it be? And be sorry for your servants. O satisfy us in the morning with your loving kindness, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad according to the days you have afflicted us and the years we have seen evil. Let your work appear to your servants and your majesty to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and confirm for us the work of our hands. Yes, confirm the works of our hands. Our epistle this morning is from Hebrews. For the word of God is living and active and sharper than any two-edged sword and piercing as far as the division of soul and spirit of both joints and marrow, and able to judge the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And there is no creature hidden from the sight, but all things are open and laid bare to the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Final reading this morning is from Mark. As he was setting out on a journey, a man ran up to him and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit an eternal life? But Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments, do not murder, do not commit adultery, do not steal, do not bear false witness, do not defraud, honor your father and your mother. And he said to him, Teacher, I've kept all these things from my youth up. Looking at him, Jesus felt a love for him and said to him, One thing you lack. Go and sell all you possess and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. But at these words he was saddened, 
went away grieving, for he was one who owned much property. And Jesus looked around, said to his disciples, How hard it will be for those who are wealthy to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words, but Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. They were even more astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? Looking at them, Jesus said, With people it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Peter began to say to him, Behold, we have left everything and follow you. Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house, or brothers, or sisters, or mother, or father, or children, or farms, for my sake and for the gospel's sake. But they will receive a hundred times as much now, in the present age, houses, and brothers, and sisters, and mothers and children and farms, along with persecutions, and in the age to come, eternal life. But many who are first will be last, and the last first. This concludes our readings for this morning. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, and of you all. Amen. Jesus, for Joe.